In February, the National Institute of Justice looked at mass shootings over the last 50 years, and it found most were committed with handguns. 25% used assault rifles, and like in Uvalde, 77% of the time those guns were purchased legally. KXAN investigator Matt Grant has more on the renewed calls and pushback for gun reform. A day after the second deadliest school shooting in U.S. history, quiet protest at the governor's mansion. These moms felt compelled to come, telling us their friend's eight-year-old daughter was among those killed. I want universal background checks. My kids and everyone else's children matter more than the NRA's donation money. Last year, Governor Abbott signed measures further loosening gun laws, prohibiting enforcement of new federal regulations, and allowing Texans aged 21 and older the ability to carry a handgun in public without training or a permit. Under Texas law, the 18-year-old shooter legally purchased two AR-15 rifles. The ability of an 18-year-old to uh, buy a long gun has uh, been in place uh, in the state of Texas for more than 60 years. Uh, and think about during the time over the course of that 60 years, we have not had episodes like this. In Uvalde, Abbott stressed the need for mental health resources. We as a state, we as a society, need to do a better job with mental health. Senator Ted Cruz pushed back on calls for gun control. That doesn't work. It's not effective. It doesn't prevent crime. We know what does prevent crime, which is going after felons and fugitives and those with serious mental illness, arresting them, prosecuting them when they try to illegally buy firearms. When in God's name are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? On Tuesday, President Biden brought up the 1994 federal assault weapons ban. When we passed the assault weapons ban, mass shootings went down. When the law expired, mass shootings tripled. The law banned assault-style weapons in large-capacity magazines capable of holding more than 10 rounds. Its effectiveness is debated. It was reintroduced but failed to pass in 2013, following the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary. During the 10 years the ban was in place between 1994 and 2004, there was a dramatic decrease in mass shootings. Dr. Lori Post with Northwestern University has studied mass shootings from 1966 to 2019. She says the ban worked. Last year, she authored a report finding as many as 30 mass shootings and more than 300 deaths could have been prevented if the federal law had stayed in place. It's not a mental illness when you're just evil and cold. Matt Grant, KXAN Investigates. In Texas, any changes to gun access would not come until lawmakers return to the Capitol in 2023 unless the governor were to call a special session.